Good morning. Yesterday I had my hair cut. I really like my barber. He's a Christian guy from Lebanon. And every time when I go there we talk. And it's getting more and more intense. And we agree on a lot of things. And it's a small place and he's the only barber there. So people who are waiting in the sofa to get a haircut, they, well, everybody can hear what is being said. You see, and of course I speak. <laughs> yeah, and uh, we yesterday we talked about people of a certain faith, and I told him my views on them. Yeah, and I said, no, I, I'm not ashamed of my opinions. These are my opinions. Here in Sweden, uh, there are people who think that you shouldn't express your opinions yeah, if they are wrong, <laughs> according to them. I don't know. And then he really got going. He started to tell me how he really feels about people of a certain faith. And everybody could hear it. Yeah. You know, they are trying to stop people from communicating this, the establishment, yeah, and the globalists, they don't want us to talk like this, you see. So they are trying to control also social media now. Uh, they control media, but it's not enough, because they can't change people's opinions. They can't do it, but they are trying to. They try to stop them from being communicated. It's amazing. It's very stupid. Yeah. But that's all they have, you see. They have censorship now. Yeah. And they have all this money. Yeah. I, I saw this thing with CNN. Uh, they had this, yeah, I, this is what happened. Last year, CNN launched uh, CNN Plus to expand the brand, they said. They spent $300 million on this campaign, on marketing, and they expected 2 million subscribers in the first year. You know what they got? They got 10,000 subscribers. Yeah. And they had to lay off people, you know. It was terrible. It didn't work. So they wanted 2 million subscribers. Just imagine if any one of us had $300 million to spend on marketing. That would be fantastic, wouldn't it? Yeah. We would get a lot of subscribers. Now, I have subscribers, yeah. Lots of them, tens of thousands of them. I didn't spend any money on this. Yeah, I bought a camera, you know, for $300. Yeah. And you know, guys like Paul Joseph Watson, he's got two million subscribers, I think. I don't think he spent any money on this. He was just being honest. He, talk, he was talking. Another one, Mark Dice. I think he's got like two, two million subscribers. And CNN, they can't make it. They spent $300 million dollars to reach 2 million subscribers and they get 10,000. It's pathetic. So no wonder they are trying to censor social media, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. Yeah, well they are doing it, aren't they? And this is about you, isn't it? They want to change your mind. Yeah, they want to stop you from having access to information which you agree on yeah. they want to change your ideas about things they want to stop you from getting these ideas isn't that very stupid well like I said that's all they have they have all this money you see but they can't control the ideas with the people me and the barber, we had this conversation. They can't do anything about it. Right. 
about Mar Mark Dice. Yeah, I saw a video from Mark Dice the other day. I think he's doing a fantastic job. He went out to the streets asking lefties if they would sign a petition to ban the Bible. Because a lot of people are offended by it. That's what he said. And people signed it. Yeah, I'll post a link to that video. This is how they think. Yeah, you don't agree with me. I want to ban it. You know, I want to stop you from getting the information. I want to stop it. Yeah, that's how they operate. Yeah, here in Sweden we had more riots this weekend. Uh, we had uh, in one town and then in another town there were riots. Uh, cops were injured. Uh, it was terrible stuff happened. That's what we talked about when I had my hair cut, you see, that's what started it. We talked about this. Yeah. Now there are some politicians here in Sweden who talk about stopping people from criticizing a certain religion. It's true. Yeah. And also the government of Iraq contacted the Swedish government and said, you know, we need to stop every act that stirs up feelings of a religious nature. Yeah. Well, it doesn't work. That's the thing. You can't stop people from having thoughts. You can't stop them from communicating with each other. I think it's amazing that they are actually trying. Yeah. I think this is the solution. Yeah. Just fascinating. Stupid people with lots of money. Yeah. All right. Be good.